Good evening everyone, myself Gautam Sarva and today I will start uh, motion in a straight line chapters and it's a second part video. I hope we, I have already um, discussed uh, lots of basic things in a part one video, okay? Like uh, motion, motion in a straight lines, mechanics, kinematics, rest and motion, frame of reference I have already discussed, rectilinear motion I have already discussed, distance and displacement I have already discussed, okay? I have done some numericals and all and uh, now average velocity also i have already discussed instantaneous speed instantaneous velocity i have discussed okay now today i will discuss you in front of you about an average acceleration okay what is an average acceleration first of all you have to understand what is an acceleration okay what is an acceleration acceleration is what see here acceleration it is your rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity change of velocity okay and that is you can also write a is equal to velocity by time change in velocity by change in time okay now what is an average acceleration average acceleration over a time interval delta see here suppose an initial velocity is v1 is initial velocity v1 is your initial velocity okay and uh, v2 is your final velocity v2 is your final final velocity okay and uh, for time t1 and t2 t t1 and t2 is the different times having a velocity v1 and v2 if i want to find uh, find an average acceleration so a average then we can write here final velocity minus initial velocity that is change in velocity by change in time that is t2 minus t1 okay so this is what average acceleration is i hope you have understood now i will talk about its unit unit you understand unit what is will be the unit since it is your velocity by time velocity has unit meter divided by second and time is your second so it will be meter per second square is the unit of the acceleration okay now i will talk about instantaneous acceleration instantaneous instant means what instantaneous acceleration or simply acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time derivative means what when it change in time is very small change in time is what very small then acceleration is called instantaneous acceleration for example a instantaneous equal to limit del t tends to zero means t is very small t is very small then our change in velocity by change in time by t2 minus t1 uh, t2 minus t1 which can also be written as limit del t tends to zero limit del t tends to zero so change in velocity by change in time and this can be written as limit uh, no no we can uh, just uh, remove this limit by just writing dv by dt okay so finally we have got as instant acceleration as dv by dt okay so this formula should be remember okay now i hope you have understood average acceleration now I will discuss about a graph okay I will discuss ab ab about a graph so what is the basic of graph see graph graph so first of all i will discuss about distance time graph distance time graph okay so one of the axis will be one of the axis that is y axis will show you the distance and x axis will show you the time so this is your distance and distance can be denoted as uh, denoted as s which has a unit of meter and time can be denoted as t which has a unit of second okay 
so this is your distance time graph okay so there are several types of distance time graph is there okay let us consider a graph is like this distance or you can also write here displacement time graph displacement displacement time graph so it will be better to see as a displacement time graph okay so see here an object uh, object's position in a graph is shown like this what does it what does this means what does this means see here with the increase in a time for example this is your one second two second three second four second five second six second seven second with the increase of time is there any changes in a position no still at one zero second also the position suppose the position or a dis displacement is one meter two meter three meter four meter five meter six meter okay so see here at a zero second it is at four meter at a second second also it is its position is four meter at six second also its position is four meter so what does this infer that its position is not changing its position is its position is not changing not changing with respect to time with respect to time understood and when this happens then you can say that body is at rest so whenever you see a distance time graph and uh, whenever you see a distance time graph that is st or displacement time graph and your graph is like this then you can say that body is at rest body is at rest understood now the situation is second situation is what see here again i will draw second situation where there is a displacement time graph displacement s and the time is like there okay so if it is like this so what does this infer so see here this is your one second second two second three second four second five second six second and uh, and this is 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter 1 2 3 4 5 okay and this is your 0 0 0 okay at 0 0 the position of uh, position of the object is 0 0 but when it uh, when uh, time arrives to 1 second then its position become 1 2 its position become 2 meter 3 its position become 3 so it means that after after a several uh, seconds its position is changing so here, here its position is changing position is changing okay and if its position is changing then what it you will say body is in motion body is in motion body is in motion okay body is in motion and if it is a straight line straight line so you can say that if it is a straight line graph straight line curve so it means that body is in uniform motion body is in uniform motion body is in uniform motion uniform motion okay understood now let us discuss what does the slope of slope of this st curve indicates see here first of all slope of distance or displacement time displacement type graph indicates velocity indicates velocity indicates velocity okay why this is so slope means what see slope means what slope means tan theta of the tan theta so for example you are taking you are taking or i am taking uh, i am taking a triangle like this triangle like this okay and let us consider this as a this is a b and this is a c so this is the angle theta so what will be the tan theta so tan theta is equal to bc by ac bc is what so can you tell me bc is what actually the main physical quantity bc is distance and ac is what time so can you say uh, say like this s by t s by t is what distance by time that is your velocity so we can directly tell that slope of any um, our conclusion is what our conclusion 
conclusion what conclusion you, we have drawn see here conclusion we have drawn conclusion is that slope of slope of distance time graph indicates velocity and i have also proved okay slope of distance time graph indicates velocity okay now again third conclusion third conclusion see here now third conclusion if if graph our graph of a distance it is your distance and it is your time so graph is like this what does this indicate what does this in indicate so body is in motion because uh, body is in body is in motion okay and now you can see that in this curve in this curve what uh, what is uh, what does the slope indicates how the slope is changing how the slope is changing see here how the slope is changing okay so let us consider for this instant for this inst instant for this instant can you say that every time slope is increasing yes or no see here slope is increasing see here this no, for now this is theta 1 and for after a while it's uh, its slope is theta 2 so you can see that angle is changing like this see here earlier it was like this after that it was like this after this it was like this so constantly angle is changing constantly angle is changing is what its slope is changing okay slope is changing or you can say that slope is increasing okay if slope is in increasing then what conclusion we are drawing we have already told you that uh, or i have already told you that velocity is indicated by slope and if slope is increasing then it means that velocity is increasing okay and if velocity is incre increasing then the motion is what motion is accelerated motion accelerated motion that it means that velocity is changing that is body has an acceleration so you have got three conclusions see here first conclusion if a uh, slope is zero here see that slope is zero here you can see that slope is zero slope is zero means velocity is zero and if velocity is zero means body is at rest okay now in a graph second in graph second slope is constant see here slope means what angle theta is constant tan theta is constant so here slope is constant here slope is constant and if slope is constant it means that velocity is constant it means that velocity is constant and it means if velocity is constant then it, it indicates acceleration is zero understand so this body is in motion but with a constant velocity that is acceleration is zero but in the in this case see here in this case what happens body is in motion slope is increasing means what velocity is increasing slope is increasing means what velocity is increasing and motion is your accelerated motion okay so you can say that this is your non-uniform motion it is your non-uniform motion non-uniform motion okay now another point is it may be it may happen that if this is your distance and this is your time okay this is your distance and this is your time or displacement time graph and if body is like this body is slope is moving like this it means what it means what tell me every time they see here slope is what decreasing slope is what decreasing and it after a while it becomes zero so here slope is decreasing slope is decreasing okay slope is decreasing slope is decreasing slope is decreasing means what slope means what velocity and if slope is de decreasing means what velocity is decreasing decreasing okay so body if velocity is decreasing it means what if what uh, velocity is increasing it means what deacceleration occur deacceleration 
or you can say retardation retardation okay understood so this is what it is happening okay so it is also a non uniform motion it is also a non uniform motion non uniform motion i hope you have understood this uniform motion non uniform motion okay so how many how many things uh, i have uh, we have learned uh, how many things we have learned first see here distance time or displacement time graph is there and where there is a different thing see here first graph is like this so what conclusion we have drawn body is at rest body is at body is at rest body is at rest and if it is rest so no need to do another explanation okay so this is your first condition second condition is this so this is distance um, displacement time graph and it is like this so it is body is at motion body is at motion body is at motion okay body is at motion and slope is constant so velocity is constant slope is constant slope is constant and what does this indicate velocity is constant okay slope is constant means velocity is constant understood okay so your body has uniform motion uniform motion acceleration is zero why acceleration is zero because velocity is constant if velocity is constant then acceleration will be definitely zero understood so now the case third case third case what third case okay third case case third if there is a graph like this so what does this infer a body is in motion body is in motion slope is increasing slope is increasing so if slope is increasing means velocity is increasing velocity is increasing if velocity is increasing then motion is accelerated motion okay motion is accelerated motion motion is accelerated accelerated okay motion is your accelerated motion understood and uh, it is your uniform or non uniform motion so definitely non uniform motion non uniform motion okay so fourth case fourth case is what fourth case the graph may looks like this okay it means what body is in motion body is in motion motion body is in motion okay slope is decreasing it means that velocity is decreasing velocity is decreasing it means that retardation retardation okay and motion is your non uniform motion is your motion is non uniform non uniform okay so i hope this is clear for you so today i have already taught you distance time graph so hope next class in next class i will teach you about velocity time graph okay velocity time graph thank you everyone